Hi everyone, welcome back to Rita Soul Food. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and family. Today we're making a delicious chia batter with pesto, mozzarella, tomato and olive. So stay tuned and watch to the end. This is a really yummy recipe. So you'll just need some chia batter bread and what I've done is cut it through the middle and then put it in the toaster so it's nice and crispy on both sides. We've already got the char grilled marks from the shop bought chia batter. So I've got some green basil pesto that I'm putting on both sides of the chia batter on the inside. After adding the tomato, mozzarella pearls and olives, we could also add some salt and pepper at this stage just to season it and add a bit more flavour, so this is completely optional. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to for more recipes that are brought to you each week. So I'm just pressing it down so it stays put and then I'll be cutting it diagonally so it looks like a nice kind of coffee shop style chia batter bread. This is definitely one of my most favourite snacks. It's so scrumptious, it fills you up and the ingredients are really classic. It just works so well, it's so tasty. Um, and if you're on the go or if you just want to eat something, then this is the most perfect and delicious thing. As an alternative to green pesto, the classic green pesto, I've also tried red sun-dried tomato pesto and I have to say it is actually really really nice so if you run out of green pesto or you just want to give the red pesto a try then it just works as well it's slightly different flavor but just as nice this is a tasty vegetarian snack and it's really quick and easy to rustle up and impress your guests I loaded this one up really heavily and every mouthful is just divine but if you want to make it slightly healthier you can go easy on the mozzarella or leave it out completely it is the classic way to do it to include the mozzarella but if you just felt like tomatoes and olives you could also just do that as well depends on your preference thank you so much for watching and see you next week for another vegetarian recipe on Rita Soul Food